Yesterday, I was blessed to be in attendance at the uh, Red for Red Al <laughs> rally in the Capitol. What an awesome experience to be part of 75,000 educators from around the state. I'm not sure if they adjourned because they had no Wi-Fi signal because there were so many of us there, or maybe they were just a little bit intimidated. I was a little uh, disappointed at first, but the way I think about it now, the recess was actually done as a timeout in the sporting event. They took that time out to make us wonder what the heck they are doing so we can take our focus off what we are doing. They want us to confuse, they want to confuse us and they want to shut us down, but we can't let them. They want us to lose the momentum that we have created. We cannot lose focus for what Red for Ed is truly about. The bottom line is that it is about our students. This is about support, the, our support staff. This is about public education. And here in Flagstaff, we are a part of a much larger and bigger picture. We are an important part of the statewide movement. We cannot be divided. We must stand strong. This is at a time that is bigger than me and a time that is bigger than you. It is for the common good of all students in the state of Arizona. This is for Arizona's future. We need to stick together. We do not want them to divide us. Charter schools and public schools must stand together. I think we can all agree that, would we, that we would like to get back to our classroom and finish the year strong. But to stop our momentum now would only jeopardize the outcome of the bigger picture. I am nervous. I get that. I know some of you out there are nervous too. But somehow we all need to focus on the what ifs. Just imagine, what if public education was fully funded? What if we didn't have to fundraise for our schools? What if our students and your children didn't have to fundraise for their schools? What if we didn't have to worry about purchasing supplies for our classroom? Classroom. What if we had qualified teachers in all classrooms? What if we had teachers, more teachers, and smaller classrooms? What if you didn't have to work two or three side jobs just to make ends meet? Yeah. And what about our facilities? What if our facilities could get the necessary upgrades? What if we could get new flooring and new paint and enough tables and desks and chairs for all of our students? What if we had technology, upgraded technology, or even technology at all so that all students wouldn't have to share? What if our students could really get the individual attention that they deserve? What if? So here are my suggestions as an educator and most importantly as a mom. Stay focused. Dig in your heels like our legislatures have. Legislators have, excuse me. Fight for your careers. Fight for your support staff. Fight for your students. Fight for my students. Fight for all students in the state of Arizona. Fight for what's truly right and imagine, always imagine, what if.